Hi, I'm Steph. I'm a Hobbycraft artisan and sewing expert. Today I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about the new Hobbycraft 12S sewing machine. And I'll also be introducing you to a project on the Hobbycraft Ideas Hub How to Make Bunting. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel by clicking on the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Let's start with discussing the key points of the machine. The Hobbycraft 12S has 12 built-in stitch patterns, a built-in sewing light, buttonhole features, thread cutter, reverse lever, and a slot that allows you to sew sleeves and hem garments. This machine is perfect for beginners and suitable for lightweight projects. To begin any project, we first need to thread our machine. Firstly, fill your bobbin with cotton by using the bobbin winder on top of the machine. Once full, we can place this into the bobbin case, which is underneath where the needle sits. To thread the machine, make sure the needle is at its highest position by turning the hand wheel on the side of the machine and ensure the presser foot is up. Follow the number guides and diagrams on the machine before threading the needle. Turn the hand wheel on the side of the machine towards you to catch and bring up the bobbin thread. You should have two threads hanging out of the back of the machine. For this project, I will be sewing using a one centimeter or quarter of an inch seam allowance. I can use the edge of the presser foot as a guide. A top tip is to use a sewing gauge to check your stitch line. To make the bunting, I've printed and cut out a template which you can find on the Hobbycraft website. Draw around your template and cut out your pieces from your fabric, being mindful of the direction of the pattern on your fabric. You'll need two pieces of fabric per flag. Sew around the edges of the flag shape, leaving the top straight edge open. When you reach the tip, leave the needle down in the fabric, lift the presser foot and pivot. Take your time keeping the same seam allowance all the way around. Once sewn, carefully trim the fabric at the tip to reduce bulk, making sure you don't cut into your stitch line. Turn the flag right side out, using a blunt tool like a knitting needle or crochet hook to push out the tip being careful not to pierce through the fabric. Press flat with your iron, trim the top edge corners that poke out to make a straight and repeat this of all of your bunting flags. Pin your flags to the binding, sandwiching between the fold. To neatly finish the binding ends, fold the end corners towards the centre to create a point and press flat. Fold this down toward the rest of the binding to create a straight edge. 